It's finally your wedding day. Actually, there's something I gotta apologize to you about. Kai? What do you need to apologize for? More importantly, where are you at such an important time? Well, that's exactly what I want to apologize for. I can't be with you anymore. What? I don't get what you're saying. I found a woman I love. I'm with my soulmate at a hotel right now. I'm sorry. You're joking, right? I thought I'd enjoy my last bachelorhood, so I went out for drinks with colleagues. Then I met an amazing woman and felt it was destiny. If I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with someone, it's only her. So I can't marry you. I'll have the wedding with her. Are you still drunk? I'm sober now, but maybe I'm drunk on the idea of destiny with her. Freak you! I'll sold out the bride's replacement with the venue, so don't worry about it. Why are you doing this now? My cousin is a big shot there, so changing the bride should be easy. This can't be serious. Oh, she's calling me. Well, that's it for me. <laughs> I do feel bad for you, but I'm gonna be happy. You go find someone new and have a good life. <laughs> Wait, what are you thinking? Canceling at the last minute on the day of the wedding? On top of it, you're cheating. That's just too low. Do you even realize how crazy this is? Yo, they told me there's no booking at the venue. What's going on? Huh? Come on, wake up. I told you that I'd be having a wedding with my soulmate today, right? I even informed the venue about changing the bride. How come the booking is gone? Stop trying to mess around with me. My girlfriend and I were thrilled heading to the venue, but now this? What have you done? All I got was a last minute cancellation notice on the morning of the wedding day, and I finally thought I heard from you. Are you still half asleep? Of course not. I'm wide awake and furious that you've ruined my wedding. Christ, it was yesterday. No way. What are you saying? I'm certain it's today. Today is Saturday. It's Sunday, idiot. What? Oh, I get it now. I understand everything. What do you mean? Firstly, the idea of swapping out the bride is outrageous in itself. Secondly, why don't you check the date and time on your phone that you are playing with right now? The phone? Where are you going with this? You always check the time with your analog wristwatch, right? Maybe you are not aware that you've got the date wrong. Seriously? Yesterday was the wedding? Uh-huh. Wait, what? Because I asked for the bride swap on Friday late afternoon around 5, which was the day before the wedding. That was actually Saturday morning around 5 a.m. No way! This is my guess. You checked into the hotel drunk with your girlfriend, woke up to my message, and checked your wristwatch indicating around 5. You couldn't see outside because of the blackout curtains, and in your drowsiness, you mistook 5 p.m. and 5 a.m. You were still euphonic from the night before, and you guys kept enjoying yourselves, stuck in the wrong time, and now here we are, right? It's so ridiculous that it's laughable! <laughs> no way! Is that true? Well, just check the chat history from yesterday. Whether you were half asleep or static, it seems you didn't pay attention to the timestamp. But that's where the truth lies. Oh, jeez. It says AM. So, what about my wedding with my soulmate? She looks anxious next to me. We are all geared up to celebrate our destiny. 
That's not the point you should be concerned about. Why not? Your last minute cancellation made a huge mess, and your parents had to handle everything. Apparently, your cousin realized something was off and informed them. They apologized to me, too. I'm gonna file a claim against you, and they're on board with it. You should head back to their place at once and apologize. Listen carefully to what they have to say and figure out what to do next. Hey, I'll take you back, so please spare me the compensation or the cancellation fees. I don't have that kind of money. Your girlfriend isn't just some colleague, right? What now? She's the daughter of a higher up at your client's company, isn't she? A college junior going through an important phase. And you've been seeing her for nearly a year. How did you find out? The stuff you confessed to your parents was shared with me. What was it that you said? Oh, right. You met an amazing woman while having drinks with colleagues and felt it was destiny, right? You had every intention of staying in a hotel with her right before the wedding for the thrill from the beginning. Jeez, you know everything. I'm the one who got cheated on. It's only fair that I'm provided with evidence and details of your infidelity. You manipulated a college student, didn't disclose that you were engaged, and got her pregnant, right? Um... You got hit with that bombshell on Friday right before the wedding. You must have freaked out big time! Impregnating a college student, and worse, if you dumped the daughter of a higher up at your client's company, that would have definitely messed up your work. So you hastily came up with the idea of turning our wedding into you and hers. Darn it! What's wrong with that? A baby's on the way. What else could I do? Do you want me to praise you for taking responsibility? You know, a decent person wouldn't cheat in the first place. You betrayed me, cheated while hiding our engagement, and in the end, you canceled the wedding at the last minute. That's the fact. Even your girlfriend was shocked when you suddenly mentioned marriage after she told you about the pregnancy. She said you forcibly took her to the venue and scared her. Until then, she genuinely liked you. But when you started acting crazy, she started doubting you. Please tell me you didn't snitch to her dad already. Ever since I spoke to my parents that day, I haven't been able to reach her. I have no clue. <laughs> well, from what I've heard, she sounds like a smart girl. She might talk to her dad and demand child support, who knows. Maybe your days at work are numbered. <laughs> I won't let that happen. This isn't up to you, idiot. Hey, I'm begging you. I'll come back to you, so tell everyone not to get worked up. Apologize to them as my wife. What? Wife? <laughs> You'll be my wife, right? Let's reconcile and go back to how things were. But what about the baby? I'll convince her to get an abortion or give up for adoption. Please, you are the one I love the most, Amelia. You're seriously the lowest of the law. Hey. You cheated while being engaged to me. Cancelled the wedding at the last minute. Now you're trying to dump the pregnant girlfriend. No way. We are done for good. Don't forget, this screwed up reality will haunt you for the rest of your life. You should be prepared for the possibility of getting hit by compensation from the girl soon. Oh, come on, please! And one more thing. Since you seem to live in a wonderland, let me clear this up for you. Even if you are back together, the compensation or venue cancellation fees aren't just going to disappear, you know. 
you'll still be on the hook for what you owe. Why? If you had any common sense, you'd get it. So bottom line, I want you to square up and pay what you owe. Hey, please, I'm begging you. Let's forget about all the claims. What the heck? I got fired from my job. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> I had a feeling it was coming. I didn't get any severance pay, and the girl's demanding $60,000 from me. She's terminating the pregnancy, and her dad warned me to stay away from her. My parents say they'll save her ties with me after I pay what I owe. If I pay tens of thousands now, I'll end up in debt and won't be able to make a proper living. So please, we don't have to get back together. Just let the financial part slide. What you're saying is all over the place. Why are you trying to have it easy? What do you mean? Are you trying to get my sympathy and forgive you for everything? I mean, I never thought she'd get pregnant at this time. You're a hopeless moron, aren't you? Even before the pregnancy, cheating was the issue. And instead of being honest, you tried to swap out the bride and wanted to have a wedding with her. You thought you could just wing it, huh? The world doesn't work like that. If you're a decent person, you should understand that much. Losing your job is your own fault. Don't run away from the responsibility of your screw-ups. But if you've been fired, start looking for the next job. Show some effort to earn money somehow. If you took action and asked for an intention on the payment deadline or to pay in installments, I might understand. But asking for forgiveness without doing anything? That's just irresponsible. Do you think I'm so easily fooled? Then take me back. Not in a million years. Why wouldn't you? You want to marry me, don't you? That's what's messed up about your brain. Wanting to get back with a guy who cheated and canceled the wedding? Anyone who thinks like that is nuts. I passionately desire it. I want to get back together with you and get married. Right, because your head is messed up. I want a payment in one go. I won't extend the deadline. I won't budge. So you don't care if I suffer? If you're not gonna reflect, at least stick to the initial agreement we made. No way! You've messed up way too much. That's the only option left for you. <laughs> Anyway, just pay what you owe within the deadline. There's nothing else to discuss. Amelia! Bye! The compensation wasn't paid even after the deadline, so I resorted to forced collection in the end. The girlfriend also didn't receive any payments, so she took similar measure as I did. Kai managed to find another job, but most of his salary is now going toward paying us. <laughs> to add on, his new boss is big on abiding by the rules. He's giving Kai tons of extra work every day to pay off the debt quickly. <laughs> Cut off by both his parents and the entire extended family, you must be enjoying a life of extreme work and poverty. <laughs> when are you gonna pick me up? Been waiting for like 10 minutes already. I'm so done waiting. Get here in three minutes or less. Christine, what are you talking about? You finally respond, but you have no idea what I'm talking about. You're so nonchalant. Oh, sorry. I was watching the kids dancing. 
was kind of lifting. So, what were you saying? I asked you to drive me to the facial today, didn't I? I turned that down, though. It's my daughter's ballet recital today, so it's impossible. What's so interesting about ballet, anyway? Everyone's been practicing so hard. The younger kids are adorable, and the older ones are graceful and surprisingly skilled. I wasn't asking about that. Oh, I thought you asked about the charm of ballet. Anyway, hurry up and come here. I can't, sorry. There's a party after the recital for the kids and a parent meetup. If you insist, can it be tomorrow? My appointment is today, from 11 a.m. Sorry, that's impossible. Can't even obey your husband's mother, huh? You're a lousy daughter-in-law. That's a bit harsh, don't you think? Oh my, you're talking back to me? A screw-up and arrogant. Wonder why Mark ended up with someone like you. Hey, are you there? Can't handle the truth and got nothing to say back, huh? Having a lousy daughter-in-law just stresses me out in getting sick. Hey, are you done yet? The recital's over. Then hurry up and come get me. What? You're still waiting to be picked up? So, did you end up going to the facial after all? I had no choice but to take a taxi. Then why don't you just take one back? That'll be an unnecessary expense. How about walking or taking the bus? Enough already! I don't want to mess up the smooth skin I got from the treatment by getting it blasted by outside air. For a good-for-nothing like you, you've got some nerve to mouth off to me. Um, if you're going that far, then I don't feel like picking you up anymore. You are the one who broke the promise first. You did something wrong, so it's natural to get called out for it. I did inform you about the recital, and there was no agreement for drop-offs and pick-ups. I did tell you to be here in the morning. You did, but I declined. You don't have the right to refuse. I'm not just hanging around, you know. What's wrong with prioritizing my kid's recital? Isn't it common sense to value parents over kids? That doesn't align with my common sense. There's no way I'm in the mood to see your face today. Why should I have to adjust to your mood? Don't you think you're at fault for letting it come to this? I have no clue what you don't like about me. Are you stupid? Figure it out for yourself. No matter who you ask, it's you who's at fault. Got it. Give me some time to think. Good morning, Christine. Oh, so have you reflected? Yes, I talked to Mark about what happened yesterday. Why did you need to talk to him about it? As you said, I'm a good for nothing, and no matter how much I thought about it, I couldn't understand why I was at fault. So, I consulted him. That's what's foolish about you. What kind of daughter-in-law shows her chat history with a mother-in-law to her husband? I thought it best to show the actual messages to avoid misunderstanding due to my poor explanation. Oh God, what have you done? Was I not supposed to show them? Of course not! You said no matter who I asked, they'd say it was me at fault, right? So I thought I'd show the messages and find out what exactly was wrong with me. I don't get why you're unhappy about it if everyone would agree you are not at fault. Why is that? Well, I might have said too much. What? You said too much? I might have used harsh words. I'm worried that Mark misunderstands it. I got a little irritated just that one time, you know. I wouldn't want to be thought of as always speaking harshly. 
Ah, I see. I understand what you're saying now. I'm sorry for being inadequate. Are you being sarcastic? No, not at all. I'm sorry for being such an incompetent daughter-in-law. It's all good now if you get it. To ensure you feel comfortable, I was told not to contact you directly by Mark. Wait, what? From now on, if you need something from me, please contact him. He's busy. There's no need for that every time. I want you to stay healthy. I'm as fit as a fiddle. Every time we talk, I end up irritating you. I feel terrible about making you speak in harsh language. I'm worried about your blood pressure going up. Besides, I feel guilty for making you feel remorseful each time. You mentioned being on the verge of illness due to stress yesterday, right? It was just a figure of speech. It was something Mark and I decided for your sake. Did he? Hold on, I might have said too much. I'm sure he's misunderstanding. He's seen not only yesterday's, but all our past interactions. He's 20-20 vision, and his head is sharp. So there should be no misreading or misunderstanding. Anyway, I'll block you now. I'm truly sorry. Wait, I'll apologize. The idea to humbly block my mother-in-law actually came from my husband. It seems to work like a charm on her. <laughs> I was so fed up with being treated like a convenient servant, so blocking her was a breath of fresh air. <laughs> Now that my husband and even our daughter are giving her the cold shoulder, she's feeling down. Her efforts at the facial for youthful skin are going in vain. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.